Good morning. It's uh, just after 7.30 and I'm doing the point one back up the hill to the AT. That's the uh, Rock Spring Hut in the background. Uh, it was a good night's sleep there. I was in my hammock. Um, yeah, it was a good, good spot to camp. Good spring. Uh, water's flowing really good there. Um, whew. Man, right out of the gate, uphill. Typical AT. <laughs> um, yeah, so today's about a 10 mile day to the next campsite. And I'll reevaluate from there. Um, if I make good time and I feel good, I might do the extra three and push to the end. I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> it's perfect sleeping weather out here, though. Holy cow. Um, got up early. Woke up by 6 o'clock. Started packing my stuff up. And then, you know, by the time I heated up some water for coffee, ate breakfast, talked to a Sobo through hiker for a while. A trail name, Oklahoma. Great guy. Wish him all the best. Uh, we talked for a while. And then he hit the trail. He had a, like a 23 mile day today. So, yeah, should be a good day. It's kind of a little cloudy, but no rain in the forecast. Light breeze. 47 degrees this morning is what I had on my little thermometer. So, it was perfect sleeping last night. It was great. So, <clears throat> I was a little restless because of this cold. I'd wake up coughing and whatnot. I'm trying to get over. But it's finally starting to break up. And we'll be going soon, I hope. So... All right, let me get off here. I see a tent right up here. Somebody's camping, so I don't want to disturb them. So I'll get back to you shortly. Back on trail. Head northbound. All right, so just after getting back on the AT here from Rock Spring Hut, looks like a nice camp spot here. On the right, as you're going northbound. That's a great place to camp right there. Wow, beautiful. All right, and it's just a couple steps off the trail. All right, so I changed things up a little bit this morning. I used to get up and check the uh, <coughs> the app, formerly known as Gut Hooks. It's now Far Out app or something. Um, I used to check to see what the day held, like climbs and uh, descents and things like that. I'm not doing that. I don't care how many climbs or descents I have today. I have a goal of 10 miles to the next campsite the hut area um the only thing i checked was the first water stop i just looked to make sure that i had enough water to get me to the next stop and i do and that's two and a half miles so probably in an hour hour and a half i'll chug whatever water i have left and fill up two liters and keep getting it um, water through the park is usually not a, a problem, at least in the central and northern district. Southern district, there are some stretches that are dry. Uh, that one that starts at like Calf Mountain going no-go, it's like a 14-mile stretch without any water at all. <coughs> so, all right. Well, it looks like first little climb is out of the way. It's a beautiful morning. Wow. Just a light breeze. Quiet. It's awesome. All right, so that was just a little mental game changer there that I, I did. I don't, I don't care how many climbs are ahead of me. I don't care how far up I am on a climb. I'm just gonna, you know, keep my head down, keep getting it. So, gotta slow down, take a break, slow down, take a break. Um, I'll tell you that book, Pushing North by, uh, 
Trey Free, aka Early Riser 71. This is a great book for hiking on how to overcome some of these mental challenges. And hiking is probably 20% physical, 80% mental for sure. Um, it's mostly a mental game. I mean, I'm old, fat, and had heart valve replacement. I'm out here hiking. Ain't nothing but a thing. It's better if you're in shape, that's for sure. It's more enjoyable. But a few days on trail, you start getting used to it and are able to tackle stuff. Um, where's that blue blaze? There's a blue blaze trail coming in from the right. I gotta make sure I stay on the AT. Don't wanna get turned around and head to backtrack. All right, stranger danger. I just want to take a moment to uh, talk about a gear change I had made recently. Um, I had been watching uh, Chica and Sunset's uh, Ice Age Trail hike, I think is what it was. And uh, they both wear a, uh, a long sleeve hooded, uh, like a sun shirt. It's moisture wicking and flight weight. I bought one. It's a bay leaf is the brand off of Amazon. Really good price. And it's super comfortable. It dries really quick. Um, like this is my hiking layer today. Um, I'm not wearing a layer under it. It's a little cool when I stop. Um, but I have my puffy coat in my uh, pack. I can dig that out if I need to. Um, but it's a super great um, hiking layer for like this time of the year it gets it's got the hood if it gets cool or if you're out exposed in the sun you know you got good sun control with long sleeves in the hood uh, keeps the bugs off if it's buggy but uh yeah I really like it so this morning I had a spam single uh, breakfast essential with coffee um, you know hot drink mix and uh, some homemade energy bars which those energy bars are three cups of instant oatmeal, one cup of peanut butter, and three quarters of a cup of honey. And then I also add chocolate chips into it. And you just, uh, you know, melt those first three ingredients together, uh, pour them into a, a, a dish, a bake, like a baking pan, uh, to let them set up and cool like a rectangle pan. And then I push uh, frozen chocolate chips in on top of it. Um, I freeze the chocolate chips first so they don't melt. Uh, and then you just cut them into, you know, the size bar you want. And they're they're really good. They're flavorful. They're packed with energy. And, uh, yeah, they go a long way. So, all right, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I didn't need to talk so long. Let me get back to the hiking. All right, looks like we're coming to a scree field. Slide area. There's another slide area. The trail here's down that way. But what a view! A little spring coming down the rocks there. Water everywhere. Hey, Mama. Hey, 
mama. What you doing, girl? <laughs> she didn't put her tail up. She don't care. And the terrain this morning has been great. Just a few minor ups and downs, kind of undulating, I guess you would say. But it's uh, been super cruisy. Nice just to kind of step it out and make some time. This is an interesting blaze on a piece of bark on a big rock. <laughs> uh, wow. Look at that patch of uh, oranges and reds down there. It's amazing. It is so beautiful up here. Okay, so as I came up this hill, saw the rock outcropping behind me. And this turn, it seemed really familiar. And now I remember why it's familiar. I'm gonna uh, tell a quick story about my youngest son. We came up here for a, a day hike a couple years ago. And, uh, oh dad, I failed to mention that the white blazes are the Appalachian Trail. I thought, I assumed he knew it. I assumed he heard me talk about it enough, but I didn't tell him. So we were coming back we had done Timber Hollow to Hawksbill, I think. And, uh, and back, we parked at Timber Hollow. Well, that's a, there's a concrete pillar there and a little grassy path that goes up to the parking lot. Well, he blew past that. I mean, he was ahead of us anyway. We get back to the car, and there's no sign of him. And then panic starts to set in. Um, I'd seen a through hiker, I talked to him. Um, he hadn't seen the kid. Um, he was wearing you know, a yellow shirt, easy to spot. And uh, nobody had seen him. Anybody passed, you know, down there hadn't seen him. So I knew he came this way. And I started up this hill and up around the turn. Of course, I didn't have cell service. And got up around the next turn and my phone rang. And uh, my wife had called and said that she knew where he was. He had called her. And I found him standing up there on top of the hill. So at first I was mad. But then I was grateful that he was okay and didn't get too far down the trail. But... Um, you know, panic sets in, you drop your pack, you grab a bottle of water, and you start humping it because you got to catch up with your kid. It was a scary couple moments there, but we caught up with him, and all was right with the world, and now he knows that white blazes on the East Coast are the Appalachian Trail. So, don't take things for granted. Don't assume people know things. All right, let me get back to hiking. Why? Why do that? Must be at Skyland Resort. Got horses in the uh, stables there that you can rent and do horseback rides, I guess. Pretty cool. Skyland is actually the highest point on the Skyline Drive, I believe. Hawksville Peak's the highest peak in the park. Skyland's the highest point on the drive. Okay, so we're road walking. There's an a T D tour back there and the trail's closed i think it's been closed for like a year or two they say it's why they reroute some water lines or something so i don't know we're road walking now that's stony man up there <coughs> you can see if you look real close there's people on top on top of that rock Crop. Pretty sure it's Stony Man. That's our next climb. Oh man, 
They're using an old copper kettle as a fire pit. That's what you use for making apple butter in, not burning wood. Man. Wait a second. All right, I'm supposed to be back on the AT according to that sign back there. But that's a blue blaze. Oh, there's white blazes down there. Okay, we're good. Um, it's quarter after 10. So I've been moving for two and a half hours. It's not bad. And I've made it to Skyland already. Feeling good, feeling strong. Sure enough, that is the wrong way. I didn't go very far, but it just kept showing me further and further from the AT on the far out guide. But if you look up the road, the ways, there's a white blade on some random sign. Unbelievable. It's a little negativity creep in, but that reroute was stupid. That added probably, that feels like three quarters of a mile, maybe more. Uphill, downhill, back uphill. Road walking, not well marked. Dumb. Time for some fruit snacks. And some water. And I'm sitting on a rock. I need a break. Feels good to sit down for a minute. This parking lot here is full. It's a parking lot here at Stone Man. Feel parking the grass. It's crazy. It's uh, 10.30, not bad, less than, less than three hours, it's pretty good. Honestly, right. so if you're going to do that, you're better off just leaving the dog poop so it'll de biodegrade on its own. Now it's in plastic and nobody's going to take care of that. That's disgusting and idiotic. Okay, here's the junction for uh, Stony Man. Blue Blaze Trail goes up to Stony Man. Great view. Been there, done that. Got the t-shirt. Not doing it today. My picture of a while ago showed a lot of people up there. And the parking lot's full. So we're going to keep going down the Appalachian Trail. Northbound. All right, we're on another real easy section of trail. <coughs> kind of cruise down through here, which is nice. I think my next stop is going to be the picnic area at the Pinnacles. That might be a good spot to have lunch. It's just a few minutes after 11 now. I feel like I'm making pretty good time. Wow. Just incredible. There's Lake Arrowhead down there. That's Lou Ray. Hooray for Lou Ray. So this is Little Stony Man at Rowan. Stony Man's up there. We came by it, we didn't go up. Just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Another cruisy part of the trail. Skyline Drive is just uphill to my right. And Lake Arrowhead and Luray is down to my left. Current situation. The water is off. All right, well, I hope this isn't an epically bad decision, but I'm out of water, and the water at Pinnacle is turned off. Next water supply is two and a half miles. Thank God it's not hot, but we're going. Let's see what happens. I just chugged my last half liter and then found out the water's turned off. Oh man, that's bad. All right. We'll make it. We have to. Mm. Okay. 
So the Pinnacles picnic area was super busy with people today. I saw a nice family having a picnic. And I yogied a bottle of water off of them. Basically begged. Um, but I am much obliged to their generosity. Um, so now I have, I guess, a 16 ounce bottle of water to get me to bird's nest number three. And I'll make a decision from there. Um, from there, it's 3.2 out. I think it'll be too early for me to camp. I might just head home. So um, it's been a good day so far. I was looking forward to stopping back there and cooking lunch, but that ain't happening. So keep pushing. Coming down off the pinnacle, the trail kind of smooths out a little bit and, and actually walk good again. Okay, so it's 2.20 and I just arrived at the bird's nest hut. I'm going to stop and eat my lunch and then push on to Thornton Gap. So 3.2 more. 2.20 in the afternoon. Pretty good. All right, 3.05, back on trail. An hour, hour and a half, probably an hour and a half. Put me down at the uh, parking lot. So, but there's just droves of people coming up apparently. So, it'll take a while to get through all that mess. Here's our interesting. All right, I'm not stopping at Mary's Rock. Been there, done that, got that t shirt. I've seen that view and the hordes of people that hang out there. So I'm gonna pass that by. I'm on a mission to get to the parking lot and work my way home. So, all right. Talk to you. The wind is really blowing down. It's beautiful though. I think I've got about another 15 minutes and I'll be off this thing. This is a hard trail, man. The rocks are terrible. You can't get a good stride, a good step. I always step on sharp rocks. And... But we're getting there. I think I'll, I think I got about 15 minutes left. And that'll be an hour and a half from the hut down. So a couple of younger girls had backpacked up to camp there and said it took them two hours to get up so I think a hour and a half to get down is not bad just can't get good footing on this trail so almost back all right that's it another long section done well not long section but another 23 or so miles done all right so that's a wrap a uh, 14 mile day to uh, from Rock Spring Hut to Thornton Gap. I am sitting here at the McDonald's at Luray to pick up something to eat. I'm hungry. And then I'm heading home and we'll probably use my roller and roll out my muscles and my legs. They're sore. They hurt. That's 14 miles. I haven't hiked that distance in a while. I mean, considering I haven't even hiked at all since April or May. That's crazy. I did well, I think. So, um, once again, thanks for watching. Um, I have probably one more weekend, maybe maybe one long weekend worth of hiking to finish out the park. Um, Head south toward General Drive. Uh, um, you'll be able to see that. So uh, that will be coming up hopefully not too long before the weather gets terribly cold. So, all right. Well, I hope you all have a great day. And uh, appreciate you watching. Again, hit that subscribe button uh, for more content. And hit that like, um, that thumbs up, because that helps the algorithm and other people. 
Whoopsie.com you know, to see that video. So, all right, well, I'm whooped. I'm going to whip in here and get me a hamburger and some fries. And I will talk to you all again soon. Thanks again for watching. Take care.